Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today I'm going to show you how I make my margarita cranberry sauce from scratch. This sauce was so good, you guys. Like, I can't. Um, but these are my ingredients. That's the margarita mix that I'll be using. But you can use your favorite brand. I have cinnamon, I have star anise, my cranberry sugar, and salt. And um, so now I'm just going to add everything to the pot. The stove is not on right now. It's completely off. You're going to add your washed cranberries to the pot just like this. You're going to add sugar. Now the sugar all depends on how sweet you want your cranberry sauce. Because you guys know cranberries are super, super tart. And it's all up to how sweet you want it. You can add more sugar. You can add less sugar. I, I honestly prefer more sugar because, you know, it's super tart. Next, you want to add a whole entire bottle, y'all. An entire bottle of Smirnoff. <laughs> Smirnoff margarita mix and a half a bottle of water. And you're just going to turn the stove on and bring this up to a boil. I also sprinkled some salt down in here. The salt is just going to improve the flavor a lot more. This is what it looks like after about mm, 10 minutes. Your cranberries will start to pop. Don't be alarmed and don't be scared. It's just doing its own thing. And you're just going to allow it to cook. I didn't even cover it. I just allowed it to cook for another 15 minutes or so. After another 15 minutes, this is how it looked. It's almost done cooking to the consistency that I prefer. So next, I added some orange juice to improve the flavor even more, as well as some more Smirnoff. I sure did another half a bottle, period. And um, I'm going to let that simmer again for another five minutes or so. And I'm doing all of this on medium heat, medium high heat. You don't want low, super low heat. And this is what it looks like, you guys. Oh, my God. Also, remember, once it cools down, it's going to thicken even more, like way more. So you don't want to reduce this until it's already the consistency that you like to eat. You need it to be loose because once you cool it down, it's going to be super thick. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to put it on a piece of chicken and let you guys see what it looks like. All right, you guys, so this is what it looks like. This is the roasted chicken, a whole roasted chicken. I took some of the breast off so I could use the cranberry sauce on it. This chicken recipe was so good, you guys, so make sure you check that out as well. I'll make sure I link it below. But look at the consistency on the chicken. Like, and let me tell y'all something, the flavor on this cranberry sauce, oh my God. <laughs> I'm not joking, I'm not joking, y'all. Put that margarita in your cranberry sauce okay so once i tasted it y'all it was just flavor everywhere uh in my taste buds it was just so good but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you on my next video and thank you for your support don't forget to drop me a comment and a share and don't forget to put your post notifications on okay you guys bye